Um, I'm back with a quick Michaels haul. I went there today um, uh, since they were doing an additional 20% off for Memorial Day. Uh, first I picked up from the $1.50 section these alphabet stamps. I like the way that they're outlined and I'm thinking that maybe I might use these to write the days of the week on the top of my uh, Fobonichi. Next I picked up these wooden stamps also of like page flags. I like these two. Um, I'm going to see how they work out in my Erin Condren planner. Next up Recollections uh, in the Recollections brand um, the Le Fleur collection was 40% off so I picked up some washi tape um, this one has a black chevron and black and with mint polka dots. Then I got this one that says made with love. And this bottom one, smile, laugh, love, happy. And the last one from this set is a pink with a white kind of chevron pattern. And then a mint with a mint blue with a white polka dots. I also, picked, I also picked up some other um, tape. These are the scotch. Um, it was $3.99, but my Michaels was doing 50% off orange and green clearance tags. So yep, then I got this set. I really like this color down at the bottom. And then also, this um, is from duct tape, but I really liked the gold or the glittery butterflies. A butterfly theme in my planner one week. Next I just picked up these were buy one get one 50% off some um, archival ink. I just got two in black because I primarily use black. And like I said I'm I'm using um, or I'm doing a uh, Hobonichi slash Hobonichi uh, journal I started on and I decided to try and start doing um, some more drawing in it and so I decided to pick up this pen. I only got it because I saw that it was waterproof because I picked up some of these Artist Loft watercolor pencils to try out. Um, I've never really done any type of watercolor work so I figured this would be um, an inexpensive way to try it out and see if I can even work with them. Then, speaking of watercolors, I decided to pick up this Artist Loft watercolor paint set. So I'm kind of excited to try it out and see how it works out. And then I just picked up this cheapy brush too to try out. Because I've heard that the brushes in the kits aren't that good. I couldn't find a, um, one with the water that's in the the, the handle part, so I guess I'll have to look online. And then, of course, I hit up the little dollar section sticker books. I can't recall, I think I might have gotten this one already, but never have enough hearts and stars. A real quick flip through. And with the 20% off coupon, these were pretty cheap. I picked up one more, the Aquatic Explorer set. These are really cute. Maybe I'll do an underwater theme or ocean theme one day, even though I'm not big on fish. Oh, but those are cute. Then I finally picked this one. I've, I've seen it before, um, but I kept saying, no, I don't really need it, but and I decided, why not? Then lastly, I just picked up some scrap paper. Since they're on sale, five for a dollar. Uh, what I like to do is that I don't really use scrap paper in the traditional sense where I make a page. Um, I lately have been just cutting out either block, uh, squares or rectangles, or I've been cutting out part of the picture. So I got some butterflies. 
some balloons. Uh, I don't really know what this is called, but it is a really cool looking pattern. Uh, this will make either a good background or I'll just cut out the individual shapes and maybe put them in one of my many journals I'm starting. Then I just picked up this um, like cherry blossom set. My daughter used my other one for a project and I really like um, this type of pattern so I just picked up another one. And I thought these um, blue colors, blue and green colors mixed with all the different swirls is really cool looking. And last but not least, one more butterfly. I got these because I thought it was pretty interesting seeing the um, butterflies with like the writing in them, kind of like a, with the different fonts. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, and if you like, uh, please uh, comment or subscribe. Thanks, bye.